Okay, good morning. Welcome to Fun Math Number 7. Fun Math Number 7. So today we're going to go back and revisit the Sea of Aristophanes and do it a little more slowly and learn just a little bit about it. So we don't start with 1 because 1's not prime. So the first thing we do is, I grabbed the wrong marker, can you circle 2 and start crossing out all the multiples of 2? So we Crossing out multiples of two. Okay, step all the way over there and start from that edge. Okay, so the first thing we do is we cross out all the multiples of two, and because I wrote them in rows of ten, we actually get a nice little pattern with with the multiples of two, right? Okay, so that's actually really nice. And next, circle three. Now this is what I want to show you, and I could have even shown you on two, but the first number that we're going to cross out now, the first new number we're going to cross out is what? Is nine. Okay, so we cross out multiples of three, but six is already crossed out. Why? Because it's also divisible by two. It's also divisible by two. So the first number we cross out is nine, which happens to be? Three squared. Three squared. What was the first number we crossed out when we were doing multiples of two? Four, which happens two to be squared. 2 squared. Okay, that's interesting. So let's cross out multiples of 3 now. 9, why don't you say them and I'll cross them out. Okay. 9. Then we have 12. How do you cross that? 15. 15. Then we have 18. 18. 21. 21. 24. 24. 27. 27. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 57. 7. 60. 60. 63. 3. 66. 66. 69. 72. 72. 75. 75. 78. 8. 81. 81. 84. 84. 87. 7. Good. 90. 90. 93, 96, 96, and 99. And yeah, there we go. So that, now we have crossed out all the multiples of 3. So circle the next number we're going to look for multiples of. 5. Huh. Now what's the first number we're going to cross out? 25. 25, which 25. happens to be? 5 squared. 5 squared. So it looks like every time we get to a prime number, the next number we cross out is that prime number squared. So why do you think that is? Why have we crossed out all the composite numbers up to 25? Well, because we have, it's, it's not using 2 or 3 because we've already crossed out all of those. It's the first number that doesn't have, it's the first composite number that doesn't have a 2 or a 3 as a prime factor because the smallest one is going to be 5 times 5 because that's the smallest prime left. Okay? Yep. So, can we, can you quickly cross out the multiples of 5 here? Okay, because we wrote them in rows of 10, this is actually really easy to cross out the multiples of 5. All the multiples of 10 were already crossed out because? Because the, the same as the multiples of 5. Okay. Well, they're, they're also 2. Alright, awesome. So we cross out all the multiples of 5. Now we're up to 7. So that means the first number we should be looking to cross out is? It's 49. 49. Where's that? Here. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Now we got to count forward by sevens. Forty-nine plus seven is fifty-six. Fifty-six plus seven is is sixty-three, and then seventy. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Goodbye, seventy-seven, which happens to be seven times eleven. Yep. And so the actual, the next number we should be looking for is seven times thirteen, which is. Which is, sometimes 13 is, it 
it's 91. 91. Hey, look, there's 91 right there hiding in the corner. Not crossed out. Okay, now circle our next prime that's there. It's 11. 11. So what's the first number we're going to cross out? 11 squared, which is 121. 121. So actually, once we go up to 7, we've got all the primes up to 100. Boom. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, you know, 121 would be the next one we cross out, and then the next one after that would be 11 times 13. And then on and on and on. So this is the neat thing about the Siva Aristophanes, is that once you get to a prime number, say 11, the first number you're going to cross out is that prime number squared. So once I do up to 7, I have all the prime numbers up to or less than 121. Now once I cross all those multiples of 11 out and I get to 13, I have all the prime numbers up to 13 times 13. What's 13 times 13? 13 times 13 is 169. So once I, once I cross out all the multiples of 11, I have all the prime numbers up to, thir up to 169, or less than 169, I mean. And then the next one, once I cross out all the multiples of 13, when I start crossing out multiples of 17, the first number I cross out is 17 times 17, which is, do you know? No. 289. Pretty amazing. And then once I get to 19, do you know 19 times 19? Is it 361? 361. Good job. So you start getting lots and lots of primes because you've got all the prime numbers up to 361 once you do 19. It's pretty neat. This is why people like the Siva of Aristophanes. It tells you prime numbers pretty quickly, but there are other ways to get prime numbers even faster than this that we'll probably learn a little bit about. Okay, good job. Good job on C. Aristophanes number two.